breaking news right off the top at 10 o'clock. Nearly four hours now after his scheduled execution time, Dallas convicted killer John Battaglia is now dead. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Gilma Avalos in for Kaylee O'Kelly while she's on leave. Our Marianne Martinez is live in Deep Ellum in Dallas where Battaglia killed his two daughters more than 15 years ago. Marianne? Well, this is the apartment building in Deep Ellum where the shooting death of those two little girls happened as John Battaglia sought revenge on his estranged wife. Now, 17 years later, his execution, which was scheduled for today, was postponed by three last-minute executions. At this hour, those have been denied, and he was executed moments ago. And I said, run, run for the door, run for the door! That's all Mary Jean Pearl could say as she listened on the phone while her husband shot and killed their daughters. After killing nine year old Faith and six year old Liberty, John Battaglia recorded this voicemail. Good night, my little baby. I hope you're resting in a different place. During Battaglia's trial, jurors heard how the murders were his way of getting back at his estranged wife. At the time of the killings, the couple was separated after he beat her. Battaglia's execution has been halted twice before on claims he was not mentally competent. The prosecutor who tried his case says Battaglia, a former accountant with a master's degree, is anything but incompetent. We provided him a fair trial. There was a fair jury. They, they rendered the appropriate uh, verdict, and now there's been, you know, years of appeal. He's been vetted so much. He's had so many uh, uh, chances, uh, but now it's, it, 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 it's time to close this out. He just needs to go. Mary Jean Pearl, the mother of those two little girls, was in attendance tonight in Huntsville to witness that execution. Reporting live from Deep Allen, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.